Just about any street on Fort Myers Beach reveals the depth of devastation. Really, it's unimaginable. I mean, pictures don't do it justice. There are still vacant lots, cars tilted in debris piles, boats sticking out of streets, and the sea. Probably half people's are emotions like that. Half, half sinking, half don't know what's going on under the water, and the other half we can see. 140 are confirmed dead, but at least five people are still missing, including Denny Hurst, who was living on his boat in this marina. This not knowing is just, it's just killing us. We recently spoke I mean, with his daughter, Shannon. You know, today is day 27. I'm, I'm, I'm counting every day. Dead or alive, I, I don't care, just find him. Despite such tangible pain, there is also hope. Really the strength of this community, um, nobody can underestimate what we're gonna be able to do. The mayor of Sanibel Island showing us some of the work already underway. We are basically tasked to rebuild a city. The level of destruction, it's not singularly focused in one location. It covers the entire island. Officials here say efforts to repair the Sanibel Causeway almost defy logic. A short-term fix in four days and then a long-term solution in less than a few weeks patching five different breaches and bringing critical resources back online. Please, back in Fort Myers, Jennifer and Robbie Podgorski's so home is the unlivable. Place. The water just came up through the floorboards. And it's not just their house that was destroyed. What is left of your Green Cup Cafe now? It's, uh, the nothing. cafe's gone, nothing. It's a gutted skeleton of what it used to look like. Their shop is wiped out, but their hearts are full after dozens of people stepped up to help. It was just everything when our culture talks about the word community. It was everything that word truly meant. And it was amazing. A community binding together by generosity of soul and spirit. Sam Brock, NBC News, Fort Myers. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.